Hello aspirants, welcome to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. How to crack civil service in first attempt? What are the steps required? Let us see in today's discussion. The first important step, knowing your syllabus. See, syllabus is your guidebook. Only by knowing the syllabus, you can find the relevant articles. You can filter the information better. But many aspirants, even after years of preparation, do not know the entire syllabus. They will know GS4 is ethics, but when you ask the subcomponents of the ethics paper, they will stagger. So this is why knowing the syllabus is very important. So read the entire prelims as well as main syllabus. Whenever you can find time, scan through it. Get it into your subconscious mind. It will be beneficial. Now moving on to the next important step. The next important step is regarding consistency. See, civil service preparation is a marathon. It is a one year of preparation. So maintaining consistency is very important. But many aspirants struggle in this aspect. They get diverted. So how to improve consistency? Have a proper time schedule. Based on your daily commitments, design a schedule do not copy from others because daily commitments varies from person to person a working professional will have a different set of commitments a married person will have a different set of commitments a person going to classes will have a different set of commitments so based on your daily commitments fix a proper timing schedule it should be practical it should be sustainable in the long run then only you can maintain consistency so go for a proper time schedule it will help you to maintain consistency so this is the next important point, maintaining consistency. Now moving on to the next step. See the next step is regarding having a proper strategy. See strategy means which paper to study first, which subject to study first, that kind of strategies. For example, if you are starting your preparation right now, I would advise you to start with optional because initial six months of your preparation will be important for optional. After December or January, there will be a time crunch and you won't have enough time to prepare optional. So this is a proper strategy. So such kind of strategies will make your preparation organized. It will be smooth. So how to devise such strategies? Talk with your teachers, talk with your mentors, seniors, successful candidate. They will help you to design a proper strategy. After designing the strategy, follow it consistently so this is the next important point having a proper strategy now let us move on to the next important step see the next important step is regarding motivation motivation is very important for civil service preparation only if you are motivated we can study on daily basis we can push ourselves but many aspirants struggle to maintain motivation they get diverted so how to bring motivation the first important step, surround yourself with positive people. An optimistic environment will improve your motivation. Ignore negative people. Minimize contact with pessimistic people. See the sad truth of life, there are going to be negative people in our life. Friends, family, relatives, some people in this comment section, they are going to be negative. It is a sad truth of life. But the thing is, we can ignore them. We can surround ourselves with positive people. Do not give power to negativity. Believe in yourself. Surround yourself with optimistic environment. It will improve your motivation. Trust me. There is also another way. Aspirants can go for short term goals. Daily goals. Weekly goals. It is easy to maintain motivation when you have short term goals. So, surround yourself with optimistic environment. Short term goals. That will, this, will, uh, this will improve your motivation. Now moving on to the next important step. See, the next important step is regarding stress management. We all know about stress. We have experienced it. It is draining. It is emotionally exhausting. It reduces our efficiency. So stress management is very important. How to manage stress? See, the stress management varies from people to people. Some people will manage stress by doing exercise, yoga, meditation, listening to music. It varies. So have a proper stress management technique. Allocate 15 to 30 minutes of your daily schedule for stress management. It will be beneficial in the long run. Now moving on to the next important step. 
see this important step is called LRP learning revising and practicing these three components are equally important they are the mantra of UPSC so consistently learn consistently revise and consistently practice so these are the important steps to crack civil service in your first attempt see these steps may seem trivial to some aspirants but the sad truth is majority of the aspirants do not follow this basic guidance they get diverted and they pay the price so try to follow this basic steps it will produce result make a list paste it on your wall and whenever you can see it it will help you that's it that's the end of the discussion this is Gautam signing off